Hello everyone, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the uppercut knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking right here or checking the description bar below. Uh, you can also make sure to check out my playlist on my channel for over 60 unique tie knots that are exclusive to my channel. So be sure to check that out also. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move closer so you can have a better look and then we will get started. All right, you guys, so this one here is the uppercut knot, and it was voted for, as always, by my subscribers because they said it looked like a boxing glove. Uh, the thing that I like about this knot is I think it looks really good with uh, just different graphic ties. Um, it, it doesn't seem to look as flattering on more muted ties. I don't know why, but for some reason with really graphic ties like this one, I really love them. If you're an avid follower of mine, then you will be very familiar with this knot because it is essentially the same steps as the Linwood Taurus, or originally as you knew it, the Lin knot or Taurus knot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby down and we will get started. All right, so I've got my tie taken down. My tail is on my left side and the blade is on my right side. For those who are wondering, this is a Kai Long tie. I got it on AlliExpress.com and it was literally like less than $3. I absolutely love this tie. It photographs extremely well too. All righty, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring my tail end all the way up to about my sternum. If you're wearing a button down shirt, that's usually about your fourth button down. So let's see here, yeah, that's about right. So I'm gonna bring it to my sternum and see here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the tying on this one with the large end, which is a little bit unique for me because I don't do a lot of knots like that. So we're gonna bring the large end or the blade over the top of the tail, around the back and up through the center, like so. All right. We want to make sure it's pretty snug and keep it up as close as possible to your neck. It's going to make for less adjusting later and especially for taller gentlemen that makes things much easier for you to uh, wear it later so you're not having to worry about having to have on a vest or uh, having little baby ties. So from here we're going to take this uh, end here and we're going to just fold it in half. Smooth side facing the center. So if my smooth sides are outward. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring that around to my right side, wrapping it around the back, just like so. We wanna keep it folded the whole way through and bring it up and through the center from the front like this here. And we're gonna pull that all the way through. I will say this one here uh, requires a little bit more dexterity, I think, because of the fact that you're kinda of having to control this little end while doing so much uh, tugging and things with the large end, but I like this knot. I think it really pays off. Um, so yeah, be sure to let me guys let, be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Also, all right. So I'm gonna keep this baby here folded, and I'm just gonna come all the way down to the tips. It makes it easier for me that way. I'm going to insert through that loop there, over the middle, and through the other loop. So we're just pulling it directly through the center, coming all the way through there. like so. So by now you should kind of be seeing that Taurus knot shape. And we're gonna bring it up and around the back through the center, just like this. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and spread that baby back out. And I'm going to insert the tail end or the tip of my blade right through this loop we created earlier. So we're just gonna pull it right on down. The thing I love about this is it doesn't just give you a power crease, but it ends up giving you a very unique looking crease. So I like that part also, and I guess because it bunches it up a bit more. So I want to fan it out and make sure that I have it nice and loose back here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tug down. All right. Until it's nice and snug. And then from there, I can fan out these uh, side portions as much as I like. I prefer for them to be a little bit tighter. I don't like them super loose. And to me, you know, it almost reminds me of uh, the Toadstool off of Super Mario Brothers also. So yeah. All right, so uh, you guys can see here, this is the finished knot. I can go ahead and bring it down and you don't have to worry about hiding anything up under the collar. So for my ladies that are wearing ties also, it makes it a bit easier because usually your uh, collars are not made with these stiff inserts. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know, as always, what you think in the comment bar below. And until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. As always, 
your fancy now. Take care. Bye.